The Wisdom of Paul Brunton What is Self-Realization? Quest Video Series 1, Video Number 2 Presented by the Paul Brunton Philosophic Foundation We cannot know God in the fullness of its consciousness, but we can know the link which we have with God. Call it soul, if you must, or the overself, if you prefer, but to catch a glimpse of this link is to be reborn. The divine soul is the real essence of each person. If we do not come into the full experience of its existence, all our religion is a mere surface emotionalism, all our metaphysics a mocking intellectualism. It is the highest possible form of self-recognition. It is the discovery of who and what we really are. Glimpses are exalted but rare occasions when inspiration, peace, and spiritual majesty conjoin their blessed presence with us. Such periods are short and uncommon, but they lift us up and draw us in. We feel then that there is final peace and joy for us as ultimate possibilities, even if they are not immediate actualities. During such unforgettable moments, the soul will speak plainly, if silently, to you. It may tell you about your true relationship to the universe and to your fellow creatures, it will certainly tell you about itself. It may separate you from your body and let you gaze down upon it as from a height, long enough to permit you to comprehend that the flesh is quite the poorest and least significant part of you. And perhaps best of all, it will certainly fill you with the assurance that after your return to the world of lonely struggle and quick forgetfulness, it will still remain beside and behind you. If you are tempted by these sudden glimpses to inquire whether there is a method or technique whereby they may be repeated at will, you will find that there is, and that it is called meditation. If you wish to go further and inquire whether your whole life could continuously enjoy them all the time, the answer is that it could, and that to bring it about you need to follow a way of life called the quest. Is it possible, if the divine is formless, motionless, voiceless, and matterless, to recognize it when the quest brings us to a glimpse of it? The answer is yes, but either intuition well-developed or intelligence well-instructed is needed, otherwise it happens by faith. In one sense, the world of the Overself remains always inaccessible and inexpressible by sense and intellect, but in another way it is as close as breathing and as palpable in the highest art form or in an illuminated person's presence as a fragrant perfume. The Overself is the true being, the divine inhabitant of this body, the silent witness within our breast. We live every moment in the presence of this divine self, but the membrane of ignorance hangs over most people and covers sight and sense. That which is aware of the world is not the world. That which is aware of the ego is not the ego. When this awareness is isolated, one experiences the overself. Be still and know that I am God is a statement of being whose truth can be tested by experiment and whose value can be demonstrated by experience. In that moment we have come to ourselves. Before then we had been dwelling in alien things, in our passions, our thoughts, our emotions, and our desires. Since there are no negative emotions in the Overself, how can it stay in the same breast as an ego that is filled with them? This is why the glimpse can only be a brief one, 
and why it can be stretched into permanency only by first cleansing the nature of all negatives. If it soon fades away, it is a glimpse. If you can stay in it every minute of your waking life, it is illumination. The highest goal of the quest is not illumination gained by destruction of the ego, but rather by perfection of the ego. It is the function of egoism which is to be destroyed, not that which functions. The ego's rulership is to go, not the ego itself. Once this stage is attained, neither the knowledge of reality nor the feeling of serenity will ever leave you again. You have found them not for a few hours, but forever. With this experience of your own divinity, you discover a meaning in life. Henceforth, you are able to take part consciously in the higher evolution which is inherent in it. A student meeting Paul Brunton. To be in Paul Brunton's presence was to be in unconditional love. I wouldn't really call it love. It's much more like a kind of enthusiastic acceptance of everything. Whatever happened, it could be embraced with this feeling of acceptance. That is a totally fearless state. To be in his presence was to experience that directly. He had given me the experience of unconditional love. That is enough. Now the ball is in my court to live out of the knowledge of that experience. Paul Brunton, 1898 to 1981, a best-selling British author of a dozen books, spent much of his early life researching the original sacred teachings of Western and Eastern spiritual traditions. He traveled the world to discover and communicate with Christian, Kabbalistic, Vedantic, Buddhist, Taoist, indigenous, and Sufi masters. Blending the richness of his own spiritual experience and inquiry with these ancient and contemporary teachings, he developed a philosophy and path of practice that suits life in the 21st century, one that expresses the greatest wisdom and love available to humankind. Regardless of how it is named, we each have a divine soul, an overself or higher self, that is with us here and now waiting to be realized. Paul Brunton's writings are a source of deep spiritual guidance for all those interested in living a divinely inspired life. Anthony Damiani, 1922 to 1984, was a prominent teacher of Paul Brunton's ideas and founder of the Wisdom's Goldenrod Center for Philosophic Studies. Inspired to penetrate into and understand the depths of traditional wisdom, he taught classes on the major philosophies as well as the teachings of Paul Brunton. His dedicated students compiled the 16 volumes of Paul Brunton's posthumous writings, titled The Notebooks of Paul Brunton, available from www.larsonpublications.com. Quotes selected for this video were taken from The Notebooks of Paul Brunton, Volume 6, The Ego, From Birth to Rebirth, Volume 14, Inspiration and the Overself, Volume 16, Enlightened Mind, Divine Mind. When completed, the Paul Brunton Quest Series 1 and 2 will contain the following topics. Please subscribe to the Paul Brunton Philosophic Foundation channel.